is the challenge slider. It's a level three difficulty puzzle dog toy, the second hardest toy created by Nina Otterson and found on Amazon. However, we don't actually have dogs, we have cats. Yet for all the hundreds of toys we've bought our four cats over the last 13 years, the majority of them have honestly been pretty crap, especially puzzle cat toys. So here we are having to buy dog toys, but can they complete it? Well, let's find out. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ashley, and today I've got mixed feelings about this one. A year ago tomorrow, we lost our first cat bear. She was incredibly playful and she had lots of favorite toys. However, this dog toy in particular, this puzzle, was one of her favorites. Now, finally, a year later, I get the chance to show her off alongside our two new additions to the family as they learn to love the toy and hopefully in the process introduce you and your cats to this puzzle toy. I hope this review does it justice and you'll be able to see for yourself just how motivated she was. Please let me know in the comments if your cats also like similar puzzle toys. So this challenge slider is made up of three core parts. The first part is a treat tray. On one side of the toy there are two cutouts Pulling between these cutouts reveals the tray and 24 holes. Now each of these are roughly one centimeter deep and approximately four centimeters in diameter. The second part is the frame itself. Now this houses the tray as well as the blue sliders on top. And if you're wondering about the gray slider, while well, it can't be moved, I assume it's there to probably provide some form of rigidity to the toy overall. Now on the bottom, there are four rubber feet, which we found grip the floor pretty well. Overall, the puzzle is 37 centimeters wide by 37 centimeters in length, making it a fairly sizable toy to have laying around your home. The last part, the blue sliders are each a single piece of plastic. On two sides are male plastic edges and on the other side are female edges. These edges link with the edge of the frame as well as with other blue sliders, making for a fairly rigid structure. You can remove these blue sliders by lifting out a slider and moving it towards the gap and then doing the same thing in reverse if you need to get them back on. Now, despite them being fairly rigid, we found that Bear could actually, and with some effort here, take the shortcut by physically pulling out the sliders, making it much easier for her to complete. Here are three things we love about the toy. Firstly, it was relatively easy to train our cats to use it. We found that two of our cats picked it up surprisingly quickly, although we're having to coach the others somewhat. Secondly, it's sturdy. We bought the toy now back in 2021, and despite it having a lot of scratches, it's never broken in a way we've not been able to fix. The third reason is it keeps them entertained. Lazy cats are a bit of a meme, and despite them sleeping much of the day, it's important important their exercise both physically and mentally. We found this keeps them busy for anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes depending on how experienced they are. Try switching out the treats to a kibble you don't use in their main feed if you're worried about the weight and you would like to use it more often. Now before we get into our criticisms of the toy, just a quick reminder to like the video if you're enjoying it so far. Your support honestly makes a massive difference to small content creators like us. Three things we don't like about the toy. The first is that some of the sliders can become stuck if they're not placed perfectly or if the sliders are not moved in the 90 degree angles which can frustrate our cats. The second is honestly style. Look, I know that styling comes down to taste but honestly it's really ugly. The blue and the orange stick out in our home like a sore thumb and given its size it's pretty difficult to miss. Over time we've learned to ignore it but wow honestly it's a bit of an ugly beast. The third is it's not easiest to clean. We've not tried to put it in the dishwasher, but with 24 of these small holes, it can be a bit of a pain. To train your cat, add a favorite treat to the tray. Let them get a feel of digging out the treat with the blue slider covering the hole. We've found that it can be difficult if they've got longer claws. Over time, partly cover up the hole with the slider, showing less and less of the treat. This will give them a feel of moving the sliders. Once they got used to moving a single slider, start to show them the next blue slider by uncovering a small part of the treat. Where possible, try to encourage them to smell the treats as they won't be able to see them. Also, another tip here is to help position your cat physically by moving them around. We found that they're very good at pulling the slider back towards them, but it takes them a lot longer to figure out how to move the sliders away or side to side with either their feet or nose. Okay, let's score this toy. So for style, given how ugly this toy is, I'm giving it a two out of 10. For engagement, it keeps our cat entertained, but only one cat at a time and requires treats to do so. So it gets a six out of 10. For quality, it's been pretty sturdy, but stronger cats will be able to pull the sliders off. Equally, the tray can catch when putting it back. So it gets a seven out of 10. For safety, we've had no safety concerns. So it gets a 10 out of 10. Now for attraction, Without the treats, cats will not play with this toy. And over time and with experience, cats will complete this quickly. So it gets a six out of 10. For cleanliness, it's fairly easy to clean aside from the holes. 
and it doesn't directly attract dirt like other toys so it gets a 7 out of 10. This gives the challenge slider a respectable score of 38 out of 60, positioning it lower than our other puzzle toy but still quite close to the top of the pack. So should you buy it, save it for later or just simply ignore it? Well, what you and your cat get out of this toy will largely depend on a combination of your patience to support and train your cat alongside how motivated they are. If you're willing to put the effort in, then I'd honestly say it's worth buying. So before we wrap up, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Next week, we'll be diving into another cat toy. 